I hope you're doing well today. I just wanted to come at you with a very short video today to kind of continue sharing a little bit about what can be done with stress, anxiety, overwhelm, burnout, etc. If you happen to catch them, in my last couple of videos, I, I shared a couple key practices that I find make a tremendous difference in learning how to move away from the reactive emotion to kind of the core emotion, the deeper emotion, in which case it no longer overtakes us. No, we don't react to it. It doesn't overtake our thinking. And we become okay learning how just to feel what we're feeling. So there's a sense of peace or a container around that feeling. When we can do that, we become more present. And there's such a great sense of peacefulness, joy, enjoyment. You're engaged with, engaged with this moment. And so the first practice I talked about being able to feel, develop the felt sense in the body. And that's critical. The second practice, I shared heart breathing. You know, what I found to be a very, very effective tool for coming back into the body. And helping to alleviate some of the stress, some of the anxiety that you feel. The reactive part of it. The better you get at coming back into the body, it also provides you an opportunity to take a step back from the narrative that you've associated with the stress, the anxiety, the overwhelm, whatever it is. The narrative at first is automatic. We don't even realize that it's a narrative. But the more space we can create around the stress or anxiety or whatever, the more we start to realize we've been believing a story about what we're telling our, ourselves, about why we're feeling what we're feeling. And that story at best that per is a perception. That perception, there's a conscious part, there's an unconscious part to it, but that perception ultimately, well, a couple of things. It, it really, at best, it's not entirely accurate, uh, it, but more often than not, it's highly inaccurate. So the next stage in, in, or in conjunction with the other practices is to begin to learn how to, how to question the narrative properly. I'm going to share, there's many, there's dozens of incredibly powerful uh, self-inquiry questions that I like to use for myself or with my clients. And I'm going to share three that uh, are to me are kind of foundational amongst a few others. And what they do is help us to shift our perception, get a different perspective, um, and understand where that narrative, what we're telling ourselves really, uh, well, what we're telling ourselves really isn't true. And it really contributes to our, our suffering from the stress, from the anxiety, etc. So the, the first question is, what am I focused on right now? In other words, where's my attention? Is my attention more future oriented as in what if thoughts? Is my attention more past oriented as in what was missing or done or not done? Is my, is my attention more dwelling on the thousand and one things I have to do and I'm never really available for here and now or what's maybe on what's missing right now. So where are you, what are you focused on when you're feeling stressed or anxious or overwhelmed? That's question number one. Question number two is what meaning are you bringing to the situation? Or another way of looking at that would be what must you believe to feel the way you're feeling? 
And that'll give you a hint as to some of the narrative. The third question you can ask is what paths of action are available to me right now? So what can I do right now? It might be as simple as heart breathing from, la from the last video. It might be making a phone call. It might be taking a walk. It could be anything. I'm sorry, my, my arms are a little shaky here. I'm kind of sore from my workout yesterday. So those three questions I found to be foundational and can be very, very insightful if we take the time to really feel into our answers. So feel the answer from the body versus just the mind, just the intellect. So with that, you guys, what I would encourage if you're watching this, if you watch the other videos, these are developing this felt sense using a, a you know, a, a strong breathing pattern, like the heart breathing from last day, and beginning the proper process of inquiry. These are how you move from just managing the stress to ultimately to healing it and being free, being empowered, feeling more powerful, more capable, more present. If you'd like some help, you know, if you find yourself, no matter where you are in life, if you find yourself struggling with some of these things, I'm happy to help. Just reach out and I'd be happy to see how I might be able to make a difference for you. I hope you, I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.